The James Webb Space Telescope is revealing the universe like never before. The first photograph showed an array of coloured points of light from hundreds of galaxies. One of the most profound and awe-inspiring revelations brought to light by the revolutionary James Webb Space Telescope is the staggering vastness of our universe. With its unyielding gaze fixed upon the cosmos, this space-based marvel has recently stumbled upon an enigmatic entity lurking in the deepest reaches of the cosmos. What sort of colossal monstrosity has the JWST unearthed? How does its sheer magnitude compare to anything we've ever known? Join us in today's video as we venture into the depths of the universe, delving into the discovery of an object so immense that it dwarfs even the grandeur of the Milky Way galaxy. In the annals of history, few fields have experienced growth as rapid as that of astronomy. Through the passage of countless generations, humanity remains perpetually spellbound by the enigmas of deep space. And now, with the advent of revolutionary instruments like the awe-inspiring James Webb Space Telescope, the realm of celestial wonders beckons us with even greater allure. The astronomical price tag of $10 billion and the intricacies woven into its design serve as testament to the profound value awaiting us, justifying every investment made. Among the myriad marvels that captivate both scientists and the ordinary populace, lies the astounding dimensionality of objects inhabiting the cosmos. Space itself stands as an immense expanse, vast enough to accommodate an astonishing array of entities, as if nature itself is resolute in filling every corner of this cosmic canvas. A prime exemplar of such cosmic grandeur emerges in the form of the Alcyonis galaxy, ranking among the largest ever discovered. What is even more interesting is that it was discovered by accident, but that has been true of many life-changing discoveries or inventions. Alcyonis, a radio galaxy, takes center stage in this captivating cosmic narrative. By definition, a radio galaxy harbors a supermassive black hole at its core. As matter succumbs to the black hole's gravitational grasp, it instigates the release of energy in the form of opposing radio jets that emanate from opposite sides of the galaxy's nucleus, also known as an active galactic nucleus. These colossal entities, known for their prodigious size, span projected linear lengths exceeding a mind-boggling 2.3 million light years. Evolving within sparsely populated cosmic realms, radio galaxies stand as exceptional rarities, captivating astronomers who seek insights into the origins and evolutionary paths of celestial radio sources. The name Alcyones was derived from Greek mythology, specifically from the son of Oranos, the ancient god of the sky. This colossal figure engaged in a monumental battle against Hercules and other deities, vying for dominance over the cosmos. An awe-inspiring sculpture of Alcyones can be admired at the renowned Pergamon Altar in Berlin. While Alcyones reigns as the largest galaxy ever unearthed, the honor of his discovery belongs to a team led by PhD student Martin Oi. Adding to its remarkable nature, this revelation challenges long-standing hypotheses regarding the growth of radio galaxies. How does it achieve this feat? The newfound galaxy exhibits the extraordinary feature of two plasma plumes, a phenomenon previously unseen in a single galaxy. This groundbreaking realization illuminates the expansive influence some galaxies exert far beyond their immediate surroundings. How vast is the Alcyonis galaxy? Keep in mind the limitations of measuring objects in space like this particular galaxy. Astronomers can only capture astronomical images from a single standpoint, which is Earth's perspective. Consequently, they can solely determine the length of the galaxy. When it comes to galaxies, scientists often calculate a conservative estimation of the overall length. In the case of Alcyonis, even the conservative estimate is astonishingly impressive. The galaxy spans over 16 million light years, equivalent to aligning 100 of our very own Milky Way galaxies. Out of approximately 1,000 radio galaxies identified, merely 10 surpass the 10 million light year mark in length. The discovery of Alcyonis emerged from the meticulous analysis of data generated by the LOFAR 2-metre sky survey, also known as LOTS. The research team refined the LOTS DR2 data by eliminating compact sources and conducting imaging at resolutions of 60 and 90. 
The resulting images present an opportunity to delve into a novel sensitivity range for radio galaxy lobes, providing promising data for the quest of uncovering radio galaxies with substantial angular length. And in terms of cosmic distances, Alkiornis resides in close proximity to Earth. Its location is a mere 3 billion light years away, akin to the backyard of our own galaxy. The vast expanse of this colossal galaxy covers an area in our sky equivalent to the moon's span, as estimated by astronomers. The discovery of Alkiornis sparked excitement among scientists due to the revelations offered by its plumes regarding the enigmatic filaments of the cosmic web. In this context, the cosmic web refers to the mature universe, resembling an intricate network of interconnected filaments and clusters. Identifying galaxies within filaments and clusters is relatively easier, but discerning the voids between galaxies has proven challenging and has been achieved only a few times. Scientists hold hope that Alkiornis will revolutionise this aspect. The mechanism at play unfolds as follows. Residing within a filament, Alkiornis's plumes experience a headwind as they traverse the surrounding medium. Similar phenomena occur within the Milky Way, yet what is noteworthy is the subtle alteration of direction and shape observed in Alkiornis's plumes. The plumes engage in a delicate dance, resembling partners intertwined. For years, scientists theorised that the shape and pressure of radio galaxy plumes could be influenced by filament properties, but the connection had eluded them until the discovery of Alkiornis. It is now evident that Alkionis's plumes, expansive and rarefied, can be more easily shaped by the encompassing medium. So how did Alkionis attain its immense size? Several theories have been proposed. The team responsible for the discovery initially postulated that it formed through the symbiotic interaction of a massive black hole, a substantial number of stars and copious stardust, resulting in extraordinarily powerful jet streams. However, further investigations revealed that Alkiornis does not exhibit pronounced characteristics in these three aspects. The truth is, the origin of Alkiornis remains shrouded in mystery for the time being. JWST captures galaxy clusters bending space-time. In Greek mythology, Pandora's curiosity prompts her to open a container that unleashes all the world's miseries. We can only hope that the James Webb Space Telescope didn't replicate that scenario when it focused on Pandora's cluster, employing a phenomenon predicted by Einstein in 1915. The latest JWST image unveils previously undisclosed particulars of the region, including the merger of three colossal clusters into an even more massive galaxy megacluster. With 50,000 infrared light sources, the JWST crafted a single panoramic image, delving into the depths of Pandora's cluster, situated roughly 3.5 billion light years away. This profound image strikes a remarkable balance between breadth and depth, potentially revolutionising research on galactic evolution. Prominently featured in the image is a bright foreground star from the Milky Way, surrounded by distinct diffraction spikes produced by the JWST. Encircling it are luminous white light sources enveloped in a diffuse glow, representing the more distant galaxies of Pandora's cluster. Curiously, Einstein, even in death, held the key to unlocking Pandora's box. According to the principles of general relativity, massive objects exert an influence on the very fabric of space, warping it, much like placing objects on a stretched rubber sheet and creating indentations. As mass increases, the sheet experiences more substantial and pronounced deformations. Cosmic entities of immense mass cause significant distortions in the fabric of space-time, wherein the path of light is also curved. Consequently, if light from a background object traverses an area of extreme foreground mass on its journey to Earth, the background object may appear to have shifted in the sky. This gravitational lensing effect carries additional ramifications. The foreground mass object, known as the lensing object, can occasionally amplify the light emitted by background objects. This amplification enables the potent JWST to perceive light from faraway galaxies, ancient in their existence, which would otherwise be too feeble to detect without lensing. 
Moreover, the light's various paths and travel times around the lensing object can stretch background objects, aiding astronomers in distinguishing between foreground and background galaxies. The team working on the James Webb Space Telescope has also unveiled a fresh depiction of the cosmos. This captivating image showcases distant galaxies stretching into the depths of space, encompassing a mere 2% of the sky, similar to the expansive presence of a full moon. Within the image, one can discern thousands of galaxies, with the faintest among them radiating light that is approximately one billion times dimmer than what the unaided eye can perceive. This is known as a medium deep wide field image. Composed of eight distinct hues of near infrared light, all captured by the JWST's near cam, this image unveils objects and structures that remain concealed in optical light. Much of the scenery presented in this newfound image had previously eluded detection by the Hubble Space Telescope and other terrestrial observatories. This remarkable endeavour is part of the PEARLS program, which stands for Prime Extra Galactic Areas for Reionization and Lensing Science. A team member, also a professor, expressed his awe, sharing that throughout his more than two decades in the realm of space exploration, he had never encountered such a magnificent image. He went on to praise the JWST's capabilities, acknowledging that the captured images transcend even his wildest expectations. They enable him to calculate the density of galaxies that emit a feeble infrared glow and determine the overall amount of light they emit. And NASA has unveiled another astounding image captured by the JWST, showcasing a fiery galactic hourglass. This remarkable image portrays the dark cloud nebula L1527, within which a protostar is taking shape, marking the nascent stages of a new star's formation. The image, acquired by the JWST's near cam, presents the invisible and near-infrared wavelengths of light translated into visible colours, composing the image's elements. Positioned approximately 460 light-years away, a fledgling protostar thrives within the hourglass-shaped expanse of space matter that nourishes its growth. Nestled within the neck of this hourglass structure, the emerging protostar releases elements during its formative phase, evident in the clearing and illumination of the cavities above and below it. The image captures the vivid orange and blue boundaries encircling the gas and dust, sculpting the hourglass appearance in the newfound infrared perspective. The image reveals the vibrant hues exclusively observable in infrared light within the Taurus star-forming region, rendering the L1527 Dark Cloud Nebula an ideal subject for JWST's near cam. Not only are Webb's images visually striking, but they also furnish astronomers and scientists with invaluable insights into the genesis and development of a newborn star. Bubble-like formations grace the upper central region of the image, resulting from stellar outflows or intermittent ejections, as described by NASA. The lower half of the image also exhibits a bluish tone, indicative of thinner space dust lying between the protostar and JWST. In contrast, the denser top half restricts the escape of blue light, creating pockets of orange-coloured regions just above. L1527 presents a youthful star a mere 100,000 years old, classified as a Class A protostar, symbolising its early stage in star formation, as per NASA. Protostars like L1527 have a lengthy journey ahead before they can blossom into fully-fledged stars, which elucidates their encapsulation within the enigmatic shroud of dust and gas. Now, share your thoughts on these JWST discoveries in the comments below.